All right, I got another quick one for you today. We're gonna jump into DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you how to speed up your render times with one simple little trick. And we're gonna talk about why it's so important and why it works. So if you wanna get into the nitty gritty details, stick around. But before we get into any of that, I need to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Tascade. Tascade is a simple, easy to use app that allows you to brainstorm ideas, manage projects, and organize tasks all from one location. And you can get to it from your PC, from your phone, from your iPad, from your Android tablet, basically anywhere you want, which is great because you can start a project on your computer and pick up where you left off when you're on the go. Tascade has a bunch of really useful features like the ability to change the view of your projects to something like a mind map or an organizational chart. They've also got a calendar view so you can see everything that's coming down the pipeline. And they've even got collaboration tools like the ability to video call right from within the app. Lately, I've been using Tascade to manage all of my video work from the stuff that I put on YouTube to the work that I do for clients. So if that sounds like something that would be useful to you, make sure you click the link in the description and check out Taskade today. And use code JLittman at checkout for a 50% off lifetime discount. All right, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. I've got a timeline here and it's a basic YouTube timeline. I've got my A-roll, I've got my close-up shots, I've got my screen recordings, my B-roll, and my text. So the first thing we need to do, because this trick is a little bit destructive to our timeline, we're going to create a copy of our timeline. So let's click on our timeline in the media pool. We're gonna right click. We're gonna go down and hit duplicate timeline or duplicate timeline. I don't know why I said it the way that I said it. Now let's go ahead and double click on our copy of our timeline and you'll see that it's exactly the same. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to our top menu. We're gonna hit timeline and we're gonna go down to clean up video tracks and we're gonna hit flatten unused clips. And now you can see it says the cleanup of video tracks was completed successfully. Three edits were removed from the timeline. We can go ahead and hit okay. So basically what just happened was DaVinci Resolve went through our timeline and they found all the clips that wouldn't show up at all in the final video and they just removed them and flattened our timeline for us. But we're not completely done. See, there's portions of these clips that will still never see the light of day. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our mouse and we're gonna highlight all of the clips on video track two, except for our text. We're gonna hold shift and we're just gonna drag down. And now the only thing left in the timeline is what will be seen in the final video. So let's talk about why this actually speeds up your render time, starting with the problem that we're solving. When you have a big monstrous timeline with a whole bunch of tracks, a whole bunch of clips, just everything's layered on top of each other. Sure, it looks impressive when you share it on Twitter, but what happens is when you start rendering, DaVinci Resolve is going to read every single one of the clips that are in your timeline and it's gonna render out every single one of those clips. And if you have a bunch of color grades and fusion effects and graphics and keyframes and all that stuff, it's just gonna bog down your machine and it's gonna slow down your render times. But if you take away everything that's not gonna be in the final video anyway, then you are significantly decreasing the amount of clips that DaVinci Resolve has to render. It really is an amazing little workflow hack. If you wanna learn some more workflow hacks in DaVinci Resolve, click here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.